Well, welcome back. Been really busy with school and uh, all of that kind of stuff, work and everything else, getting that other house ready. We sold the trailer we were working on. Anyway, back to work here, but it's another hot day down here in Texas, but I really gotta get a winch mounted on my utility trailer. I need to pick up some logs from uh, a coworker that she uh, lost a big live oak tree um, and they came in and cut it down. They saved me three, um, almost 10 foot logs. I calculated one out and approximately 1,900 pounds. Uh, the guys that were cutting it, they used a bobcat to load one for me, but I gotta go back and pick up the other two. Par buckling on the side of the trailer, I think is the method that I'm gonna use. Um, seen lots of videos on people, you know, do that. I really started looking for the videos based on the Woodland Mills little ramp system you can buy to load them onto your sawmill. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I have a 3,000 pound winch just sitting up on the shelf that was at my mom's place in uh, Oklahoma when she moved last year. It's just been sitting up here. I knew I'd need, a, need it one day, so I, I saved it because all we have are those little Harbor Freight 1,000 pound ones. So this should work fine. I don't think I'll need to do any welding. I'm gonna use parts from the old boat trailer winch, um, the one that I decided not to sell. Um, so stay tuned. I'll show you what I'm gonna do to get a winch on my trailer and maybe it'll give you some ideas of how to put one on yours. Everybody needs a winch on your trailer. So I'm going to take mine completely apart because I've got to cut this step off. Um, a lot of boat trailers won't have this. It'll just have this bar and the winch mount. So you could just take yours off, move it over to your trailer and be done. But I'm going to go ahead and take this off so I can get to this and cut it off. I'm going to get out the plasma cutter. Just going to go ahead and cut that off, cut this off, cut these things off. I don't want to use a grinder. Well, as always, I uh, guess I forgot to hit record when I was cutting everything off. All I got left is this little guy here. But we'll get him off of there and then um, just some more grinding. Okay, that's how easy it was to cut everything else off. That's why it was worth getting this out. It's one of the best ways I've seen to roll a trailer around in your driveway. Better than the little wheels that come on your trailer. So just like in woodworking, I should have came and measured, I guess, because I did a lot of grinding and cutting for something I didn't need. So uh, I want this to be butted up against the angle right here just to give it a little more oomph when it's uh, winching. And so I want this, and I wanted the winch to be just over the top of the uh, top rail. So I'm going to mount this there, raise this up to where this is just over the top right here. And I believe I should have clearance with my tire. I'll move my tire if I need to. But that's all I'm going to do is just raise this up to where it'll fit. Okay, so it ended up being almost where it was, just about two inches down from where it was mounted. Um, it's going to be just about right. So that's how I'm going to put mine on. Uh, yours may vary. And like I said, if you had one like that boat trailer, same kind of concept, but it'd be a whole lot easier because there was no step, no thing to cut off. Um, didn't need to do all of that on it. It's just basically got the two U-bolts on the bottom. Take it off, bring it over here, and put it on. This piece I made in the beginning is because this is a piece of angle iron here in the middle, so I want to put this underneath. Right here like this. All right, I finally got it on there. I ended up having to take this bracket off just because it kept making it top heavy. And like just like that, it started to tip. it off a little bit so I can paint it. Oil and stuff off. Not going to be great because it's already galvanized so I'm not too worried but I do want to spray some paint on it just so it matches a little better. 
I'm just going to paint this up a little bit. Um, I know it's galvanized and whatever, but um, I just want it to match the trailer as well. So it'll be painted. Just going to spray some of this cheap Walmart paint on it. I've already got one coat on there. Like I said, it's kind of windy, so a lot of overspray, but just going to get some on here. Cover up the gray. showing right there, right? Yeah. 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 Alright. There we go. Thank you, hon. Yep. Alright, first test. I don't have a good battery, so I just hooked up our little battery jumper thingy. And I got a tire with some weights on it. So let's see how it goes. Okay, easy way. Not so easy if you have one that has a step on it and you gotta cut that off. Otherwise, it's just a couple of U-bolts and then reposition this to mount your winch. So if you can find an old boat trailer or you have one or maybe this just gives you some ideas on how to mount one on your trailer. Um, 10 million ways you can do it. You can buy the plates, you can put a plate up here, you can put a plate down there, all kinds of stuff. So just look around. Uh, this is the way I did it. I think it's gonna work great for me. I do notice that I'm gonna have to chop this off a little bit or create a notch here um, the cable is rubbing because of the angle so um, if I mounted it more towards the front where this hang off the edge then it would probably be better um, so I don't know what I'm gonna do uh, for now I'm just gonna leave it should work uh, if I can raise this up some that'll work anyway as always get outside do something find your own ideas and uh, we'll catch you in the next video thanks for watching